Hi guys, Colsey, and today I'm back playing some Session. Uh, if you've been around on my channel before and you've seen some of the similar skateboard videos I've made, you'll see that I like skateboard videos. I played skateboarding games like Skate for a long, long time, and Tony Hawk's back before Skate. I love skateboard games. So Session at the minute is kind of one of the, the, the most important, influential skateboard games we have at the minute. It's the best one we have, in my opinion. Uh, it follows on spiritually from where EA Skate 3 left off. Uh, and it's had quite a big update, so I figured we'd make a video and I'd play around and we'd see what's new with Session. I know that they've made some big changes to controls, they've added a whole new different map to play, so uh, there's plenty of stuff for us to check out. Right, so, without further ado, I'm gonna play around. I'm gonna try and talk while I do it, but th these kind of games, I'm just very bad at being able to talk and play at the same time. So, apologies if... Apologies if I actually kind of uh, forget to talk or I just suck at the game a little bit. That was actually pretty cool though. So, uh, the only change I think we have at the minute that I have turned on is... Uh, I'm not sure if I had this on last time or not, but in the bottom right hand corner, we've got the names of the tricks. Uh, kind of makes it feel a little bit more like Skate if that's what you're going for. Now, I played a hell of a lot of Skate back in the day and it's still to this day one of my favourite games. Because I just absolutely love... I like skateboarding and I like skateboard games because of that. And Skate was like the best representation of that, I think. Like Tony Hawk was fun, but it was very arcadey and non-realistic, I guess. And then Skate came out and it was like, this feels a lot more like skateboarding IRL. So that's why, that's why I think it is one of the best games, in my opinion. Uh, and it's definitely the best skateboard game. And just like the, even to the point that like the uh, the controls of Skate was completely different to how Tony Hawk's worked. It felt a lot more real. You were a lot more in control. And Session has built on that, and it uses the the two sticks uh, as different feet. So it's sort of took took what Skate had and taken it to the next level by not only do you flick one stick, uh, one stick controls one foot, the other controls the other. So you kind of have to move them simultaneously to get that trick that you want to get. Uh, so let's start looking at the things that have changed, shall we? So we're going to, to you see that select map is here. Um, I'm not entirely sure if we're actually, well, I guess we're not in either of these. So maybe there's two new maps. I thought there was only one new map. Um, but we're going to look at options first. So gameplay. So I just have it kind of set the way I like it. Uh, something they've added is the big drop landing input, which basically means if you drop uh, a long way, you won't necessarily land it. You have to actually, I think you have to move the sticks apart. Uh, it doesn't say. Uh, if enabled, when landing from high distances, input will be required in order to prevent the player from bailing. So you'll actually have to try and stop yourself falling if you fall from, like, if you go from too big a height. Uh, I'm not going to play around with that because I'm going to suck at it. Reverts. Uh, is another thing they've added, like, specifically this setting. Reverts were already in the game, but now they've added so that you can have automatic reverts happen uh, like this. Auto revert. So always when landing, the player will always revert uh, if not facing the current direction. I'm going to turn that on because that sounds kind of cool. But here's the big change. Here's, this, here's the next level that makes it, uh, that makes this game more accessible for skate players and also changes the controls to something that you're a little bit more used to if you if you're coming from a skate three skate background but it's the input mode that we actually want to look at so we have right and left foot like i said each each stick is a different foot same with front and back it just it just makes it slightly simpler for me that my right stick is always my back foot so that i can always do that but here's the new one legacy so the left thumbstick is used for navigation and rotations and the right thumbstick is for tricks uh, it's still in an early experimental mode, so, you know, it might have a few bugs. But basically, what that's saying is we have skate controls in session. So I'm using the, the left thumbstick just to navigate. Now, normally you use the triggers, but now I'm using the left thumbstick. This is going to take me a little bit of getting used to because I'm so used to playing session as session with the session controls. But... I mean, I played so much skate. It's so weird that I played skate for so many years, yet as soon as they bring the controls into this game, it confuses the hell out of me. And I'm just like, oh, what? We're just going to do a little flip. Nice. Let's try a kickflip. See, it does, it, it does feel a lot like skate. 
It really does. Like, it navigates the same way. The tricks are, like, exactly the same as you remember them. Uh, I was going to go for that grind there, but I didn't for some reason. I want to try the auto revert. Uh, basically, we need to... It kind of it kind of rotates us too quickly. There you go. There was an auto revert. It looked a bit weird, I'm going to be honest. Like, it should have should have really rotated the same way as the the rotation I was doing not re not not but not revert back but there we go I like the fact that they've they've realized where their community comes from basically I didn't see that chain they've realized where the community is coming from and you know if you're a skateboarder or you enjoy skateboard games the the game you've probably been playing for like the last I don't know decade most of the time if you're looking for a good skateboard game is skate so at least they're they're looking at that. That was nice. They're looking at that and saying, look, they're going to be used to these controls. So if we can add these into our game, then that's going to help them come across a lot easier. And then hopefully they'll pick up the, the session controls. And it just gives you a lot more freedom. It gives you a lot more freedom to control your tricks and a lot more freedom to, to sort of create tricks, I guess. Because... That was nice as well. See, the revert thing, it does, it just looks nice. It does look nice. I'll give it that. Sometimes it doesn't work the best, but sometimes it does. I feel like I completely lost what I was talking about, but uh, there we go. That's what happens when I play skateboard games. Uh, I think I was talking about how the session gives you more control with the way its controls work. And that's definitely true because you can, you know, you can do some strange tricks if you really want to. Uh, which notably the the little text in the bottom right doesn't pick up so if you do like a double kickflip it doesn't care it's like no no you didn't do a double kickflip you did a kickflip let me see if i can show you what i mean if we take these big stairs here okay i'm I, I was i was like i'm gonna bail that's one thing i i think still needs changing is like the how delicate the bail is how delicate the bail system is and the fact that you hit anything at any speed, and that's it, you're done. See, now that was a double heel flip down those stairs, and uh, that didn't, that just fully registers as a heel flip. So that needs an improvement, but, you know, we're getting there. Same with the kick flip. But all your kind of standard tricks, I guess, I, I guess all the tricks that were in Skate 3 are, are in here. So something else that I believe has been added, we're going to have to change the controls back uh, to the to the standard uh, front back foot but I believe they've added pressure flip so you can see the difference here so this is when I pull let's move into the the lighter area a little bit so if I pull fully back on the stick that's just like your standard uh, trick stance ready to you know pop it do some flips do some shove it do some tray flips whatever but if you kind of pull the right stick or the left depending on how you have it set up if I have it set up front foot back foot if you pull the stick to the left you can see the foot positioning there is completely different um, and that's for pressure flips. So then I think... So if we just let go of that, nothing happens. Same if we just let go of a normal ollie. If we want to do an ollie, we have to pull down on the right stick, then push up on the left stick and release kind of both at the same time. That's how we do it. But if we pull to the right to do the pressure and we push up on the left stick, it doesn't do anything. So you kind of have to... I think you kind of have to pull down. Yeah, so it's the same. Like if you want to do a pressure kickflip... It's kind of the opposite of a normal ollie. You're pulling down instead of up on the left stick. And uh, depending on whether you want to do a kick flip or heel flip, you push to the other side. So that's pressure flips. That's been added to the game. Uh, we can try a pressure flip down here, I guess. There you go. Double pressure kick flip. That looked pretty nice. Uh, it's just a cool little extra thing. Uh, that wasn't. That definitely wasn't in skate. But there we go. I'm going real slow. If I just bump into this... Bail. That's too sensitive. It needs it needs to be a bit more robust than that. You need to be able to bounce off things a little bit more because that's that's just too sensitive. Uh, let's go check out some maps. Let's go to the 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 creature park. Uh, I haven't checked this one out. I did briefly go into the underground map just to have a look, but this looks cool. Oh yes, I'm 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 immediately into this. But the thing is, with revert being on the triggers, I like to tap the triggers to like turn like then like i did a little turn and then i wanted to turn a bit more but you double tap the triggers you immediately revert 
And that, for me, is a little bit of a pain in the ass. I don't know if it's annoying for anyone else. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only person that controls like that. But I like to tap like that. That was just supposed to be too little. I, I don't want to, like, overdo it. I don't want to overturn. I'm trying to line up. So I'm going to do, like, short little taps. But apparently, that just leads me to reverting, which is not what I wanted. Oh, those were some stairs. I want to get a grind on that rail. I like the way that counted that as an ollie when I didn't actually do anything. Nice. Right. I wanted, to, I wanted to see what's up these stairs. These stairs lead somewhere. This is a cool little park, though. Like, this is a nice little flowy little park with a, plenty of rails and stuff. Ooh, what we got up here? Oh, dude, we got more park? That actually genuinely surprised me. I didn't think there'd be anything up here. Oh, oh, little mini ramp. Okay, a little mini ramp that I can't skate because it's not really a mini ramp. It's way not curved enough, but it, it feels like a tiny baby mini ramp to me. Damn it. I just wanted to just wanted to do a nose manual. Okay, let's let's try that again. We'll go up here. Do a little 180. Nice. Right. That didn't really go how I intended it, but I'll take it, I guess. I wanted to come up here, do a little flip. See, that's the thing. If that was, if this was Skate 3, then it would have had the automatic just like bouncing off the, like wall riding off the wall and stuff. Session isn't quite there with that yet. So you go up a ramp like that with a little bit too much speed, you, you're you going to hit that wall and it's going to just completely kick you off. I'm going to try and get this line done because I think it looks sick. Right, we're going to go up here. I'm going to do a little front side flip. Nice. All right, come down. Line ourselves up. I think I think that would have been perfect. I think that would have been perfect, but I, I, I screwed up the manual. Right. See, I, I mean, that wasn't really a nose grind. This is another thing. The animations are slightly off and, like, the catch points. That was actually pretty nice. Because you, be, you can be dead. You can look... Your character can look like it's dead center in the middle of that that beam where you shouldn't really be grinding. You should be should be completely nose manualing, but then it still counts it. Bit annoying, but there we go. Oh, that was that was pretty cool. So let's watch that in the editor. I can't remember if the editor was in here last time. I can't, it's, honestly, it's been a little while since I played uh, since I did a video on it at least. So. We went up here. I stopped doing the front side flip and went instead for a kickflip revert just because it seemed to flow a little better and line me up a bit more. Um, but don't judge me too harsh. And we did kickflip. See, now that, that counted that as a nose grind. And you can see quite obviously there, that ain't no nose grind. That's a nose manual. But that was a nose grind apparently. So we'll flip up into the nose grind. Uh, out into the, what I called the mini mini ramp. And we did 360 flip nose manual up here. And I think that was a varial out. It was like a 180 varial out. It was a bit, it's a bit odd looking, but there we go. Let's watch that. 360 flip. Nose manual up onto the big block. And then some, some weird twistiness out, but it looked pretty cool. Okay, hang on. Hang on, we can do this. If we add a little rampy boy in here. Right, we're going to put the wooden kicker down here. And we're going to go for a big drop. We're going to go over this little ledge and land down there. Now, remember, we don't have, like, the big drop setting on, so we should be able to land this fairly fine. That was pretty cool. This is actually really cool. Um, I'm going to remember how to do the grabs. How do I do grabs now? I'm going to have a go at doing a grab because I don't remember how. There we go. That was technically a grab. It didn't look right, but it was a grab, I think. Ooh. See, and this is what I was talking about earlier, how the session controls give you more control over, like, the trick you do. Now, I don't know how many flips that was. That was a lot of flips. Uh, four? I'm going to guess at four, but let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, it was a quintuple flip. Nice. We'll put on the big drop landing input because I, I, I do want to see how this works. 
Right, so big drop landing. So that was obviously too much of a big drop. Let's just double check because I did kind of land near something else. Let's just do an ollie, not touching. Big drop, right. Now let's see if we can we can figure out how to land this. So we have to put in some input before we hit the ground. Oh, okay. I kind of just did like right stick down, left stick up. But I wonder if it matters necessarily what input we do. Okay, don't do that one. Don't try and turn sideways. Okay. And maybe I just nailed it. Maybe just naturally my brain went, well, it's probably like you want to like move your legs apart. That seems to be... That seems to be what it is. That's pretty realistic. I do like the way that Session is aiming for more realism than previous games. I still managed to land that. Dude, I'm quite impressed with myself and how, how I managed to still land this weird flip trick. 360 flip. And then you've lost me at that point. The weird catch with the upside down foot. That's a broken ankle right there. I don't know how you managed to break your ankle midair, but you did. We're going to end like any good skate video should end. On a banger. And by banger, I mean... Now, the aim is to grind this DIY rail. So, we're going to go from this kicker over to the DIY rail, grind that, and then land down there. Ooh, it's it's a distance, I'll give you that. It is a, it is a fair distance. No, I can make it, though. I, I get the speed. I think I just bailed there because I hit the ramp. There we go again. That's me. That's me. I'm trying to do the tapping to turn. And it, it's just reverting me. And it's it's upsetting. Nice. I'm going to be honest. It wasn't the best trick in the world. So let's go for a redo. But it was, it was successful, which is important. Okay, we may have just straight up died there. Yeah. So we went for the tail. It glitched out a little bit. Uh, and... Oh, that, that's not where you want to be. Come on. Come on. Just one more for me. I think her legs were backwards. Like, that entire drop, I'm pretty sure my character's legs were, were backwards. What the double shit? What is going on here? Okay, so, right. This is where we're going to end. But let's just review this piece of footage. There's a little, little just a kickflip into a tail. And then at this point, coming out, I sort of tried to, I don't know, I tried to shove it maybe, and I did half a shove it. That is maybe the sickest freaking photo I've ever seen. Imagine you saw someone do that. They come out of it and they go into some sort of weird like yoga pose. I mean, the fact that her leg phased through her other leg. Ignore that. But that, oh my God, we're landing cross-legged. I don't know if that is a feature of Session, but apparently that is kind of what I did. That is so weird. That is, that is not how a human body works, but that is how Session works. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end that video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you want to see more content around skateboard games or Session in particular. Uh, I, I'm going to keep playing it and when updates come out, I'm going to play them myself. But if you want to see more update videos when they come out, please do let me know. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it. And I will see you next time.